Hi everyone, welcome back. I want to share with you my picture that I made. Yes, I did it. I made the handleless picture that was in the Pottery Making Illustrated magazine. I'll put a link below. Bill Griffiths uh, is, does a lot of these, I believe. Uh, I was missing one of the elements. I didn't have the tar paper to create the form, so I just used newspaper to create my picture form. And it worked out well. It's not reusable because the clay is wet and it, and it gets warpy after you've put it on the clay. But I can, and I can see why they wanted to use that, but it was really a lot of fun. I did enjoy it. There's some different things to know when you're hand building, I think, about how to attach things, and I don't know how to really make them look smooth, and it was fun. I learned, I learned a lot from the experiment, so uh, I, I'll, I just can't wait to share that with you. Also, I need to tell you really quickly, the uh, for the 365 Days of Clay Cups Art Show in Modesto, California, the Artist Talk and reception will be April 19th and if you can, if you can come I so appreciate it uh, I'd love to meet you uh, if you're in San Jose you're close enough my parents are coming they live in San Jose <laughs> if you're from my own stomping grounds I'd sure love to see you uh, but anyway I can't wait to to meet everyone there and um, I've already gotten a preview of what the cups are gonna look like because they're setting them up today I had to go drop off uh, some video. Actually, they're going to have like a little educational video, and it's going to be really awesome. They're really putting a lot of effort into it, and I'm really humbled. I hope, um, oh, well, I'm just nervous. I've never done anything like this, and, and they're saying that they're just really excited with the project, too, because it, it shows growth, and hopefully kids will be able to, they're going to have some schools come and look at it to show children how, you know, you can start out as an artist, and how you can progress through, and it's it's so it's honoring. I thought, wow, this little project sure ended up being kind of a big deal, and I hope it helps other people too. So, anyway, if you can come, I'd love to see you, and I can't wait to share my picture with you. So, take a look. Okay, I don't have the tar paper, so I am just going to use this newspaper to create my form, and I am actually going to test it out a few times because I don't know. I wanted a little bit more Do I like that? I think I might make it come out just a little bit a little more flat and then up. See if I have enough here. I actually do. Hooray! Is this the thickness? I think that's how thick I want it. Okay. And now I will just begin to cut it out. see the newspaper absorbing the water. I'm not sure how good that'll be for trying to get it off of there, but it'll burn off, right? I ran out of battery, but I just pulled this off. It's very wet. I can see why they would use the tar paper because then it would be a reusable form. This one now is going to get all distorted. And uh, so, this has to dry out a little bit. I feel like this strip is just a tad bit. It is pretty wet. See how it's drooping? But that only means I can make something out of this. myself. 
and my purpose is. See, I, I, well, I'll go back to that in a second, but I'm going to thin this out a little bit. Which will actually make it a little bit taller. I just don't want it to crack later on. Okay. Oh, it looks like it's too much. We'll just have to see. One thing is it's not always easy to learn something new in front of a camera. You take a lot of stops and... There we go, that looks right. I'm gonna take this clay, actually I'm gonna use this again as I, I'm gonna uh, secure up the inside with it a little bit. But. I think this is how that was supposed to go, by just by looking at the pictures, because there really aren't any descriptions on how to do this. But now I just need to bring these, score and slip these together, and see if I can make them fit. <laughs> element to it so that it's a little bit more secure. Better too much than too little, you know? decided to use a, uh, a doily I got at a yard sale for two dollars and it was actually um, crocheted by people in another country that uh, did this to raise money for their country. I think it was uh, women in Africa so it, it, it's kind of a special doily there. decided to use a, uh, a doily I got at a yard sale for two dollars and it was actually um, crocheted by people in another country that uh, did this to raise money for their country. I think it was uh, women in Africa so it, it, it's kind of a special doily there.